Why, hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and today I have a brand new video, and today I just, look what I just got in the mail. <coughs> Excuse me. I got uh, one of the, the new Lego catalog. Um, so it has Lego brickheads up here. I have Lego, it's the Lego Easter catalog. So we're going to take a look at this, and there's some... Free Easter gifts with purchase that you can get. So see, t see, see, oh my god, I can't even speak. See page two for details. And here is the new sheep brickheads, which I kind of passed on because I don't really have much brickheads in my collection. I only have one brickhead, so that is um, not very many. But as you can see here, here are the pages. Um, page four is the new or the youngest builders. Page six is vehicles. Four is heroes, so that's like, um, that's like policemen or motorcycle, uh, firefighters and such, yada yada, from the movies, so that's like Iron Man, Star Wars and such, friendship, that's gonna be like the new Lego themes, and also, today is a video that I wanted to discuss long, or for a while now, my favorite Lego themes, so, as this video goes on, I will talk about like my favorite Lego themes and rating them. So, yeah, so we're going to get to that as well. <coughs> and then we have Disney, we have Minecraft, Ninjago, Interactive Play, which they've kind of stopped doing right now, but I guess in this Easter wave they still are. Creativity, Fan Favorites, which is Lego Ideas and stuff, and Expert Building, which I want to get back into Expert Building, but I think I'll do that once I'm um, out of the house and, uh, you know. So here's some stuff for toddlers and some stuff like Elsa's little uh, tea party, some al an alphabet truck, which, you know, this stuff is good for younger builders that are learning to play, brick box, bakery, up there we have Captain America or Superhero Lab. We have a modular playhouse. We have another, or we have a number train, which is cool. We'll probably, I'll probably get these for my kids if they ever, uh, once I have them. Fire engine. And now we're into the vehicles. So we have, so we have a red Ferrari. Is that a red Ferrari? Yeah, it is a Ferrari. I, I, I totally just guessed before I saw the name. Nissan GR GT Nismo. Uh, Nismo. I'm not good with car names, by the way. Like I don't understand race cars, and I'm not good with that stuff. But you know, again, I'm I might not ever get into it because I might buy these Lego sets. But if I don't, I might not ever buy these Lego sets because I'm not into race cars. But if you guys are into race cars, let me know and. I'll definitely review them at some point in my life, because I'd be happy to review anything you guys would like me to review. Um, this Audi sports car, which that, the Audi sports car looks really neat. Um, and then we have some of these Lamborghini and Lamborghini Hurricane. Looks really cool. Again, these sports cars look really cool. And I think that if I, again, man, this, look at that Jaguar right there. These Technic ones look really cool, but uh, they're just not my cup of tea if I... You know, if I, like, I love collecting, like, superheroes and and architecture stuff, not, like, all these vehicles. So, I may skip around, but here's a Jeep, uh, a Land Rover, and then there's some stunt show stuff right there, which is all cool. But, again, I'm, I'm just not into this. There's a boat right there. And uh, if you guys collect these, like, if you get the, the manuals or the um, these magazines that the um, catalogs, they have all the prices in them. So if you guys get these, um, they have all the prices in here. There's a big crane right there, mobile crane. There's a buggy right there. There's a mini class, Exeron. And then there's a there's this whole thing that you can control with an app. So it's pretty cool. I don't have anything that can do that. And then there's a whole bunch of things. I saw this, um, a monster truck um, on a Brickatex channel. So that was pretty cool. This is Lego City right here. I saw this on Prekatex channel as well, the ice cream truck. So that was kind of cool. And then the Street Sweeper was also on Prekatex channel. Here's something else that's Technic. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. And then here is all some Lego City stuff that I don't really care for, but I won't really go over that right now. Because um, I don't have Lego City, by the way. Lego City is something I, I kind of passed on. 
a while back in Lego City. I just don't, it's just it doesn't interest me either. I have one Lego City set, and that's the um, Arctic set, one of the Arctic sets that came out a while back. I think that's like four years ago, or maybe in 2014. Maybe, man, that was like a while ago. Um, here are all the Spider-Man sets. Here's the Junior's one. Um, it, it, it comes with Mysterio and Spider-Gwen, and all these Spider-Man sets come with the same exact Spider-Man minifigure, which kind of stinks, but if you don't have them... It's kind of cool to get. Here's the Spider-Man mech, which was a u is really cool uh, idea. And then here's the Doc Ock set with um, Spider Girl. Spider Girl is the most unique. S the Spider Girl is the most unique figure of the set. And then let me turn it that way. So then we have we have the coolest sets I think of the bunch here. We have the Black Widow set that I will be getting for my birthday. And I'm disappointed because Amazon's working slowly because of the virus happening but I'm not going to let that pass on my gifts this year. I'm going to I'm going to get going and I'm going to get these I'm going to do my haul that I usually do so I hope that can go through. Um I passed on this one by the way, but I love the rescue minifigure that came in the Avengers Hulk uh helicopter rescue. That looked kind of cool. The Iron Man mech looked sweet, but I passed on the minifigure just cuz I didn't need the whole set taking up more space on my table. The Thanos mech was eh. That was kind of eh. The Black Panther, this one looked cool. Like, these ones look cool, right? I like this Captain America figure. Um, that Hawkeye looked interesting. But these, I, I want the game, right? Like, I want this this Avengers game coming out this year. But I don't know how, This the sets just don't interest me. Like, this Black Widow, or this Black Panther minifigure looks cool. But I just don't know. I just don't see myself getting the, the sets. I just don't know. Even though I'm into collecting Lego superheroes, I just don't know. that that, that Those Avengers sets didn't fill fully. Like, if it was MCU stuff, it, 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 MCU stuff, it, Lego MCU stuff definitely triggers me. Um, triggers me in a good way. Here's the Mandalorian set that I want to get for my birthday as well. The Battle Pack. I love all of those. Like, I wanted to get these firsthand, but I was like... The, the, not that the price was bad or anything, I just, like, it was Christmas time, and then I was like, man, there are other sets I want, so now I'm gonna get it. Here is the UCS, oh, I always wondered what UCS meant, Ultimate Collector's Edition, or series, I mean, um, UCS, blah, 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 Star Destroyer, there's the, um, Yoda, creepy, but Yoda, um, there's the speeder, and now here's the other set that I was really, really wanted, the night bus, because I'm a huge fan of the night bus scene from Harry Potter, and Harry Potter is really cool in general, but I, I love that night bus set, and to get Ernie Prang, Stan Shunpike, man, those are two characters that I love in the, um, Azkaban, what's the name, Prisoner of Azkaban, um, book, and slash movie, because that movie, that scene in that movie was awesome. And it also has the shrunken head. I love that. I love that character as well. Even though it's not a full minifigure, I love the shrunken head. And the night bus, the purple, the purple tri um, triple decker bus. There, in, in real life, there is no such thing as a triple decker bus. But I, I just love that set. It looks so gorgeous. Like the fact that they remade it. I might have to pick that up. But I wasn't sure if I should put that on my birthday list or not. But... And then, I, I'm not even going to talk about this. Why do I need to talk about this? Why do I need to talk about trolls? Like, the fact that they... That's one of my least favorite things. The new thing, Dots, is pretty cool. Friendship bracelets, I really think that's a cool, unique way. And pencil cups, too. I think this is a fun, interactive way to get kids, especially girls, into Lego. I think it's such so interactive, so clever. Like, I hate people that go, Oh my god, why are they creating these Legos for girls? I'm like... Because I, I feel like Lego friends, like, Lego friends, like, guys, like, male people, the male um, gender seems to like Lego friends, and I don't understand why, because I don't, but dots, like, again, guys, uh, boys can like dots as well, I don't know who would, but personally, I'm not going to get dots, this Lego theme, but... <clears throat> Um, where was I going with this? Girls can just, you know, get these and, and build friendship bracelets and, and do all sorts of things with them because it's their colors. It Now, you could incorporate it like if a girl said, I want orange or I want dark blue, I want navy blue, I want red, I want 
uh, brown, you know, something unique boy colors that don't appeal to girls, you know, I, I there aren't that many non-girl colors, I mean, there's probably more than not, but, you know, black, or, I guess there's black right here, but, but anyway, regardless, I'm, I'm just trying to throw stuff out there, but it's a really neat concept, I'm not gonna buy them, but I just think it's a neat concept for girls in general, then we have Lego Friends right here, and then we get into more Lego Friends, which I'm not gonna go over, because if you want to look them up, you can look up the new stuff online, I'm just gonna kind of browse through this, and then we have Disney stuff, like Moana, Disney princesses and stuff, and I'm just kind of going through because I just want to talk about what I'm here for, and now, again, I passed on the Disney castle, I thought this was really cool, it's big, and the only thing I like from this is Tinkerbell, because everybody likes Tinkerbell, um, but wait a minute, what is this, oh, never mind, I, I saw that, and I thought it was printing on her outfit, so, by the way, guys, I'm not into Ninjago, if you didn't know. I saw, like, the first two seasons on Netflix, and I love Minecraft. I love I love the Lego Minecraft theme. I don't have much from it. I have, like, um, probably five of the first wave of sets. So, at the end of this video, I'll tell you what my favorite themes are from Lego in general. So, this is all Ninjago. And Hidden Side, Hidden Side is actually going away, and they're creating a new theme called the monkey kit monkey kid which i think the monkey kid is in replace of that and then we have some creator this was on prickatex channel and i believe this was on prickatex channel maybe no i don't think it was and then we have creator expert the tree house was on his channel um, I have this friend set, which he he was looking to get it. And Greg, Greg, if you're watching this from Brick Tech, get the friend set. It's awesome. I have it, and it's awesome. If you watch this video, it's good. These are Lego idea sets. I was thinking about getting this one. I was thinking about it. But instead, I'm re replacing it with getting the Flintstone set because I think that's better. I think that's a better idea. If you guys are watching this video, let me know in the comments and think say what I should get. Because I was thinking of getting the Flintstone set. Um... And also getting the night bus. So let me know if I should get the night bus. Because I think I would lo love the night bus. And then this was on Brokatech's channel as well. He has this. Greg has this as well. And that's it. There's some Lego uh, creator expert sets right there. The bookstore and all that. And then the Lego diner. There's the Lego diner. So that's it for the, for the catalog. I'm going to go back to the menu. Or not menu. And I'm going to tell you my favorite themes. So, well, I guess I don't even have them all here. But um, my favorites are Minecraft, which I kind of don't get a lot. But the Minecraft sets interest me. Um, my favorite is uh, my favorite is Marvel, as you can tell, and and C Lego CMFs. Those are my two favorites: the Lego CMFs and Marvel sets. And then I also like the creativity behind. I like the the Minecraft ones that they make. And the Lego ideas. The Lego ideas are cool. The Disney ones, like like the like the train, and the and the Tinkerbell one. That was cool. Like the Disney Castle, but I I just those were huge sets. Lego City, Lego Ninjago. Um, the expert ones are cool, but they're again I don't build them in and out. Technic, the vehicles, Ninjago and Lego City. I don't get. Because I don't care for Lego City. That's just not my cup of tea. Ninjago is not my cup of tea. I watch the seasons, but they're kind of cool. But I just, that's not what I am in, into. I'm just not into ninjas and stuff. So that's not my cup of tea. So like Minecraft, superheroes, DC sets, um, I will get eventually. But my Marvel and Marvel and the Lego CMFs are what I'm basically getting for right now. And the Brickheads, I just don't have any interest for right now either. Except for the one that I got. So, you know... Eventually, when I move out, I will get more about all these sets, but um, it's just fun to get these. So, thanks for watching this catalog video, and I will be um, showing you my new sets I will be getting for this year. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Um, and I will be getting some Star Wars. I like some Star Wars sets, and I love um, I love that they're remaking some of these Harry Potter sets as well. That's, what, that's the other thing I like. I like the new Harry Potter series as well. I'm glad they came back with that. I'm glad they came back with that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Boba Fitch and Master. Leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. Bye, everyone.